It's Wednesday, uh, July 28th, 2021. Dear Freya, 1975, just came home from work, and his boss gave him chicken nuggets, which he offered me, which I thought was nice. A nice peace offering, but it also ties in the same exact day. So you have an outside event and coordinator um, that can speak since I am black rhino, solitary animal in confinement um, with very little coordinated correspondence at bureaucratic, aristocratic level and public people of whatever. Um, this jargon I hear on now on, we're going to walk through this in a militarized strategist's perspective of, I don't, I wear, I'm a black rhino. I have a white rhino crash party that I need to like go, dads, um, I know you're all in the office, but I'm out here by myself, <laughs> and the security guards you said you were sending, <laughs> they're confused. They're losing ground. I don't know these people uh, in the world. I really, I don't. They have, um, if they're not successful, they mean nothing. I mean, to the parents. Uh, in ready to offer in any assistance we can to, to support them and their members. Uh, so I, I know that their focus is, is, is on the health and the recovery of nearly 200 uh, law enforcement officers who received various injuries that day, some incredibly uh, serious. And, and I okay, here's what I want you to know. These police officers, they're in the United States of America, the United States that I've found thus far in this northeast coast where there's a D.C., and there's a New York, and it's an East Coast, it's one shoreline. U.S. Custom Coast Guard can agree. Um, on that shoreline, there's, in D.C., they have something called Capital Police. C-A-P-I-T-A-L or O-L, I don't know. I have never seen them, never met them. What I can say is I watched some of their testimony real quick because I really don't care about their details because they really don't give a shit about anybody else. But um, I did notice that they are very Porto Latino, <laughs> Porto Latin, like the guys up in uh, my northern Afghanistan uh, region of I'm the Russian fighter jet and I'm down in American territory, enemy territory in New York, um, which we call Afghan at prime minister level, but wants to give all the, tie all the ribbons for all of you idiots that sit around and do absolutely nothing. You realize there's the antimatter, which really is a dark matter movement, which means that nothing matters because it, the, white rhino crash party is already broken, which is why you are now in a UK Amber Alert. With the heat advisory and the atmosphere literally ripping apart and bioterrorists now having access through antimatter and dark matter and they're doubling up on prior their own priorities to fucking divide and conquer. So I really don't give a shit how many you uniformed officers you fucking lose because for every white officer I lose, I'm taking out a ratio of undisclosed amount of any other color for doing this shit to my life frame as is already authorized on file. I don't know what fuck takes so long. So now this guy is in charge of fraternal order. Those guys like to know somebody has their back. Great. Here's who has your back. Get the fuck back to capital where you belong. Stop protecting the shitbag kids that were flown in as lobbyists and all sorts of stuff to sit like babysitters in Washington and report falsely to overseas about my whereabouts and my, and my um, I don't know, safety just to count a clock down in some sports arena while I sit in New York like, any day, brothers, come on. 
I know, we're Royal Russian Guard! Yeah! Oh, right, no, we're nationals when we're out of the clubhouse. Right, okay, we're just doing national work here. Nothing to get crazy about, you humans. Just saying, if you don't have that kind of, like, zeal to know that one of the national or outside league, down to the pubics, gets a hold of the national um, protection that's needed, and it slips out of royal hands, it means you're all compromised and you're all going to die by the most painful fucking process. There's not a vaccine that's going to save you all. Are we fucking clear? That's the serious of this Amber Alert between the UK and the USA and the US. Now, let's go listen to what these morons have to say. I mean, this guy, thank you. No, I know you're respected in your job. And this guy, thank you. I know you're respected in your job. Me, I'm just really annoyed because I have nuclear and electromagnetic uh, weaponry used on my face daily. And I'm just sitting around like an asshole waiting for somebody to get their, like, political and bureaucratic aristocratic agenda together and lead something. <laughs> Successfully. These labor committees are, are committed to the support of my in, in, uh, in any way that they can for as long as necessary. All right, I'll get into Officer Fanon in a second, but just as a general principle, I understand you say this is a, a democratic organization, small d democratic, but... Uh, obviously, uh, the FOP takes positions on issues. Uh, I, I, I read your Twitter feed. I <clears throat> read your press releases. Uh, you're very vocal. You're very outspoken when it comes to issues of, like, um, some of the judicial temperaments in big cities and defunding the police calls, et cetera, et cetera. Do you have a position on an investigation into what happened on January 6th and all those police officers who were who were injured, and some of whom... We, by the way, the insurrection, uh, uh, prime minister, and so defense level, we, have, we call that a wake-up call. Because apparently nobody's shaken up enough to do anything says, fucking right. January 6th, that those that are responsible and those that violated the law should be held accountable. In our position, and that has not changed. It's my understanding that it, uh, under the auspices of the uh, uh, District of Columbia's... Uh, Prime ministers office, in the white rhino crash the party? Department you should be really fucking Department shaking up and getting your fucking shit really straight. I don't know what the fuck takes so long. We have, you know, in these individual lodges that we... I'm the only fucking black rhino, and I stand by myself. We're a solitary animal, just me, myself, and I. And I did some carbon copying of genetics, not because I wanted to, just because you fucking left me here amongst the fucking disgusting population of humans. ...that you have to represent your membership, and most FOP members are Trump supporters. Fanon said that you told him... That he shouldn't dwell on January 6th. And I got stingray stealth issues forward. to deal with uh, and contend with much? quietly. Uh, no, uh, I will tell you that uh, I've had two detailed conversations with uh, Officer Padone. Uh, I did uh, talk to him, called him specifically to talk to him about resources we had uh, on a national level for wellness. But uh, my conversation with uh, Officer Padone, Padone is, is that, uh, that we needed to work, and I wanted to facilitate a meeting with him and his labor committee to be able to discuss what his concerns are, and, and they've been prepared to do so. Uh, Wake up call. Hello, D.C. Uh, this is not a, like, we stand united, black vaginas, white vaginas, caramel vaginas, and we're going to have a big weed party and just, like, trip out. No, 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 no. You are, like, way past that all are dumb fucking and useless, which I call humans in the public. the insurrection until he recently reached out to you. Why not? Your union is very aggressive when it comes to backing the men and women in blue. Well, it's, I, you know, it's, and it's, 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 they uh, don't all wear blue, well. by the way. Uh, I will tell you that uh, that the D.C. Metro Labor Committee, which is the Capitol Police in D.C., they seem to wear blue. And I, I, NYPD I wears blue. I, I they should be the whitest I'm fucking old faces old. on the face of the fucking earth inside those uniforms if they're doing law enforcement and getting guns and some kind of authority in order to protect my ass. In, in, for that, in D.C. has a D.C. Metro... Um, that's how bioterrorism uh, unit is run. Very uh, sound 
I don't need like rumors getting out and things sold to the fu- fucking pubics to work in an antimatter and give shit to the dark matter people. As vocally as you want to, as you otherwise would, express support for the officers who defended the Capitol that day for fear of running afoul of Trump supporter FOP members. Yeah, and nobody knows what I'm saying, but I'm going to say it anyway because I'm a paid sponsor. That's what I hear. That's how I decipher this code. Wah, 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 wah. Is there a piece and a nugget in here of anything important? I'm not sure. It actually allowed their members to participate in that process. So that process is the will of the members. The election was held, the election is over, and since that day, we have worked very closely with uh, the administration. Election of what? Members of Congress. You're only human, and you're in an amber alert. You don't get fucking elections all area dumb fucking useless. You get fucking appointed from white prime minister, one crash in white rhino territory. You get appointed, you fucking move. It. Uh, it would be nice if any of you could follow the book and the strategy appointment for which you were originally assigned. Well, MAGA media, MAGA politicians are smearing police officers who are members of your union. They're smearing... Harry Dunn, the capital They're confused officer, about the blue uniform. I can tell you if if my Russians, they are getting all the wrong information because the D, the United States of America, DC capitals, already infiltrated with black vagina. That's a fucking problem. The plantation kids lost the North to the fucking uprise of the South, and now it's a fucking nightmare. And they're misinstructing Europe, and it's a disgusting cycle of, like, everybody's fucking angry, and nobody's fucking useful. Because Trump supporters make up most of your union. I, I, do, I don't, I don't uh, recognize it or accept that, that characterization. I, I can tell you, and I can provide documentation if you'd like, of just how involved that, uh, that uh, the labor committees and the national... Has been there are some police officers, I hate to tell you guys. They deserve to die. They're dirty cops. And they keep growing with their community authority, these gigantic, and then they, like, give some kind of substance to a movement because people trust police officers because that was originally how it was designed in the social concourse when like you humans were respectable for you broke shit I'm talking about public expressions of support for them uh, you seem to stop being as vocal FOP on social media and in your press releases after January uh, and like I said, uh, these officers are being smeared, and FOP regularly defends police officers. That's your job. I don't. It, it's it's an important job. I don't see you doing it publicly. Yes, you're you might be offering support for some of these officers behind the scenes, but I mean, Laura Ingram last night was giving out fake Academy Awards, accusing your police officers of of acting in their testimony. Well, I'll tell you that uh, several months ago, probably... Uh, Rather than cleaning up departments, they're just playing, like, police bureaucratic. Like, I mean, it's just... It's, it's politics. It's still fucking politics. All area dumb fucking useless. watch news programs. Focus on what the issue is, and I'm not going to, to get into the political side of this. And I agree. With officers that that, uh, that that we owe a debt of gratitude to, they they defended our nation, nation's capital on December on uh, January sixth. Okay, here's the deal. They defended the nation's capital, and the people that are inside the building, 
who walk past all the lobbyists with all their color and their differences that are flown in for the day from people who have already stole industry, operation, banking, communications, and broken every fucking standard that was in the fucking book for a reason for health, safety, and welfare. They have anarched and leveled the playing field with like some big nuclear, we call it Tsar Bomba. They just took every structure of protection for all genetic safety and variants. They fucking leveled the playing field. And now they're playing some kind of rebuild strategy, I think. But they don't quite see the greater good and the greater schematic because they're not fucking part of it. I'm not from around here. What do you not fucking understand? My eyeballs are being sucked in by pressure into my fucking head. I am a alien species amongst your human population. My eyeballs turn blue when the pressure and the health turn. That's how you get an amber alert. It means that, the, that you are burning up atmospherically and it's coming from ground forces and your leadership management and anarchy of democracy is all strung incorrectly. Your simulation is so viral, your thought process isn't even working. You can't even connect to the right logical algorithm to have a thought pattern that works for to move your body in the correct daily action. It is so painfully obvious. And then you start using your voice and your whatever education or grip to move things. I said to a guy today, I, John Casablanca, some guy named Matt, sends me a text message from Arizona last night. He's like, you want to do an online audition, whatever? So I'm like, right, yeah, okay. The house of blank stares. That's what Casablanca means. So I call him back today. Uh, I called him back last night, but I guess I was after hours, whatever. So I call him back today. And um, I'm like, listen, he's like, well, you're going to have to do Zoom. I go, why? He's like, well, and I go, listen to me. I don't have a computer. I don't want to do this technology thing. I said, it's a real problem. I was like, and I'm pretty sure at prime minister level, they were already told not to push an agenda ever of anything electronic or, like, invasion of ether space. Because that's where everything breaks. I was like, but it's the confused kids in the U.S., USA, at president's level, I don't know, like, CEO, whatever, dumb fucking useless shits, that are oppressing my, they're oppressing my personal freedom rights to not participate in anything internet or anything telephonica because they've cut off my people at white rhino crash and prime minister level and they've held me in some disgusting derelict position having to now explain it as I'm being fucking abused by bioterrorism tactics in the field with no help whatsoever. And having to explain it back to prime minister level and hope that the poor leadership at ground control level hasn't infiltrated their mental capacity in order to algorithm and pattern properly and they're in some kind of protected airspace since my airspace has been completely compromised and, like, breached. Com I mean, it's so fucking viral down here in New York, Afghanistan. I'm Russia fighter jet that landed or crash landed as a UFO behind enemy lines, and I can't seem to get a single fucking prime minister, a white, like, doesn't want to fucking lose its mind, health and safety, doesn't want to become crippled just because somebody pushed the button, would be nice if any of you could be useful in any time frame that I'm a centurion, which currently I am. 
as a spiritual ritmo, knows a little more than the rest. Yeah. I'm the biological factor, the X factor. You've heard these things before, humans? Great. My eye sockets are being pulled in. My face radically gets par departicalized and then snaps back on. So in your visual cortex of stabilization, it looks like I'm put together. If you do time age enhancement, you can see the drooping. You can see my face being torn and my nose shifting. You can see half of my face some days droops a little more than the other. Some, I mean, like, I can't breathe in a, in a zen format where when I'm in protected airspace, the physics works so much better. The anatomy, the organ, the organism, the everything is organic and beautiful. You, eukaryotic. Currently, I'm in prokaryotic, which means everything's destabilized and is so radically breaking apart. And I know it. But I have nobody to report to because the ground control is so infiltrated, which is what caused the destabilization of New York and Afghanistan, which I thought I had white commanders somewhere that could communicate with the dumb fucking useless in my area to move their stupid fucking dipshits and lollipops into the right fucking political positions to write the right fucking legislation and get me the fuck out of here. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza.